Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your first feature game of the day, the Puck University in brown versus the All Blacks in gold. All Blacks choosing to wear their alternate gold jersey, no doubt due to a color conflict with brown, which is pretty similar to black, though I did fail our class, so that might be wrong. Anyway, All Blacks cleared up, out of the zone. Puck University will try to retreat, but they are beaten by Mike Johnson. Mike fighting for the puck, trying to get the wraparound going. Makes a move, shot saved by Mel. Another shot, another save by Mel, deflected high. All Blacks, hit up to Jason Lally Berte. Lally Berte now with the puck. Oh, and he loses it, so All Blacks will have to touch up. Pass, attempted pass there. Shot and a save by Mel. And Paul will try and hit it. But it is dumped by Sue. Sue and Nikki Decoy subbing for the All Blacks as they are short on females today. A lot of teams short today. Such is life. It happens. Only two more weeks left in the regular season, folks. At least for rec. I'm not sure about pro. Nikki dumps it into the corner. All Blacks try to advance it. They cannot. Shot goes wide of the net. Retrieved by Puck U. Shot again and a save. No, it did sneak into the back of the net. So the first goal of the game goes to Puck University. Beating the goaltender, I believe, glove side. We'll wait for the official call here. Ryan from, Ryan from Julia and Jeremy is the call. So again, that will make it one nothing. two minutes into this first period. David hits it up. Hit back to David, but it skips over his stick and the All Blacks, who I'm about to start calling the All Golds in a second because it's confusing, advance the puck into the neutral zone. Ariel with the puck now. Up to David. David will dump it in. Brian tries to advance it, but it is poked away by the All Blacks. Marty to Brian. Brian with a nice move around, but the puck trickles away from him into the corner. Try to spin around past to David. It did not go, and the All Blacks choosing to ice the puck. Good hustle there by both Marty and Ariel in beating Kosal back to the puck. So that icing will result in the faceoff coming all the way back into the All Black zone, blocker side. Referee Sud sporting his concussion proof helmet. One by Puck U, David will hit it back to Marty. Marty to aerial shot, just wide of the net. Outstanding play there by Puck U, but the shot does not find the back of the net and will instead go into the sideboards. Taken up now by Puck University, or I'm sorry, by the All Blacks. But poked away, goes to David, it is offside. So the faceoff will happen in the neutral zone. Head referee Neal on skates, per the usual. Referee Suds not on skates, probably because he would fall on his face if he did so. But good thing he's wearing a helmet with a visor. Helmets are very important, folks. I took a knee in the Wednesday league to the head. I thought I might have been concussed, but the helmet did its job and only left me with a minor bruise. So I am fine. I know y'all were worried, but nothing to worry about. Jason Laliberte into the neutral zone now. Past the center, but it does not go. Mel touches it, allows her teammate to play it. Mel in net four, Puck U. Lee in net four, the All Blacks. Hit up to Sue. Sue will get a shot off, but it's easily stopped there by Mel. Hit around Sue. Brett, or Mike tried to poke it, could not do so. It is back in the neutral zone. And back to Jason Laliberte. Nice move around. Makes a shot. No, I think it hit the post. Jason Maxstein clears in the neutral zone. It's stopped by Mike and then shot on net, but it is steered aside again by Mel. Taken up by Paul, but Laliberte is the one who ends up with it. 
Pass back up to Mike. Mike around, nice move there, but Jason is there with the puck, at least momentarily. Mike is able to get a shot off, but Mel is able to make the save once again. Jason will clear it up to Paul. He's got a chance, but the puck bounced away from his stick. Unfortunate bounce there, but a good idea by Jason Maxstein. Trickling shot there is covered up by the goaltender, and we will have a face-off in the All Blacks defensive zone. Fast and furious play here thus far, folks. It's exactly what you'd expect from these two teams, and so far they have delivered. Face-off about to happen shortly. Shot off the face-off. I believe Brian is going to be forced from the circle. Yes, he is. We'll see who takes his place. It will be Ariel, it looks like. Ariel wins that back to Brian. Brian to Marty, shot. Oh, and a save by the goaltender, glove side. Outstanding save there, as that shot was going right on net. Jason taking a moment to look. He will play it up, but it's taken by Brian. We'll hit it back into the neutral zone. Long shot is blocked and played up. Marty again with the puck. Hits it up to David. It gets by him. It's Lolly Berte. Cannot get a good clear there. I think David might have gotten his stick down. Julia advancing with the puck. Hits it back to David. David tries to pass to Marty. Fans on it. Or I'm sorry, but. Brian, that is Brian, not Marty. Long clear, will this go for icing? Yes, it will. So the All Blacks again forced to ice the puck due to the consistent pressure of Puck University. Suds will be the referee dropping the puck for this faceoff. Marty letting Neil know that there's a bumblebee. Oh, shot and a goal by Ariel there. Face-off win results in the puck coming to Ariel, and Ariel is able to hammer it home for the second goal of the game. As I was saying, Marty was Marty was saying that there was a bumblebee, I think. I don't know if I could see it with the camera. Oh, and Mel mercilessly slaughtering the bumblebee and then cleaning it up with her stick. No, no mercy from, from Mel. <laughs> anyway, played up to Paul. But stopped by Kosal. The puck does get away from Kosal though, and back in the neutral zone it goes. Offside, and that is gonna result in a stoppage of play. Gonna have to submit that video to PETA. I don't think they'd be very happy with Mel, with Mel, uh, Mel's actions there. Face off about to occur. One again by Puck University. Another shot, but it goes just wide of the net. Good chance there by Jason Maxstein, who is married to the bee slaughtering Mel. So they'll do it again. Just over six minutes to go. Another face-off win, another shot by Jason, but it does not get through traffic. It is deflected off of a couple people and Lee is able to cover it up. All Blacks normally very solid on face-offs, but having trouble against Puck University. And again, another face-off win, another shot. Couple shots there. First by Jason, then by Julia, but neither finds the back of the net. Another shot, another save there by Lee. Hit behind the net. A little bit of board play there, and there is gonna be a penalty on Paul. Paul for boarding, I believe, is the call, but we'll get the official one from the referees. <laughs> Yeah, Paul for boarding, so Puck University will be shorthanded for two minutes. We'll see if the All Blacks can score a goal and lessen the gap that they currently face on the scoreboard there. 
Captain Davin yelling from the bench to just kill the puck. A wise strategy there when you are shorthanded. Attempted clear is blocked down by Jason Laliberte. Goes off his stick. He will pass it up to Mike. Mike with a shot and a save by Mel. She tried to play it back, but Jason instead will clear it all the way down. As a goaltender, got to be careful with Jason Maxstein's long clear attempts. They frequently go on net, and they have resulted in a goal before. We did catch it on video. You can find it somewhere on the DCHL YouTube page. Jason tries to clear it out and is able to do so again, this time on the backhand. Jason Laliberte will take the puck up. He gets past Lauren. Pass up to Mike. Mike shot. Save again by Mel with the leg pad. Jason is able to clear it out again. Lee will stop it. And play it up to Jason Laliberte. Pass up to Mike again. Aggressive play there by Brian. Good idea, but... Oh, and that is going to be a slash on Brian, so five on three here for a little bit. Puck University, very short-handed here. And they have to have someone else come off, at least for a little bit. I'm not sure what the expiration of the first penalty is at, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Born to take the face off against Mike. And she is chased from the face-off circle. Good poke there by Ariel, but it goes to the All Blacks behind the net now. And Ariel will successfully clear it out. The first penalty has expired for Puck U, so they are still shorthanded, but not by two players. Oh, Paul with the chance now. Shot and a save. No, it trickles behind the net. Lee thought he had it. Lee yelling for a quicker whistle there from Suds. It'll be interesting to see if the refs call uh, unsportsmanlike on Lee. I think there's just frustration building here, so Captain Jason Laliberte talking it over. Unfortunate goal there for the All Blacks. Lee had made the initial stop, thought he had it. And Neil saying that he blew the whistle, so that goal will be waved off. There is a break, so that is a break for the All Blacks. So frustration building there for the All Blacks. But it was at least justified in this case because Neil had blown the whistle. Sud said not. But in the midst of all that confusion, the score remains two to one. Or two to zero rather. Two to zero. Mike with a couple moves. Shot, glove saved by Mel. So the faceoff will happen in Puck U zone. Jason Laliberte continuing to muster his troops and get everybody organized. Ariel clears it out. Jeff will be the one retrieving the puck. Julia putting on pressure. Not too much though. Jeff gets it past Paul. And good awareness there by Ariel to not jump offside. And that time anyway, it is an offside call. Puck just coming out of the zone for a brief moment, but that's all it takes. Hit out of the zone, but the All Blacks control it thus far. Oh, and a long shot and a goal by the All Blacks. Shot from the pink line. 
and just gets past Mel there. That will make it two to one, finally. I was incorrect earlier when I said two to one, but I'm correct now. Numbers are hard, folks. Math was never my strongest subject. Math and art, not my strongest subjects in school. Paul will take it up. Still on side. Paul trying to get a, get a goal here before time expires. 18 seconds left on the clock. Jason Maxstein with a shot. Goes wide of the net. Paul with only 10 seconds left to go. Marty trying to clear it up to Paul. Tempted shot there by Lauren, but it does not go in the back of the net. And the bell does finally toll, and that will be the period. I'll try and get shots on goal for you. Doesn't always happen, but we'll see. So some highs and some lows in this period, but as of now, the All Blacks or the All Golds, whatever you prefer to call them, are only down by one goal. Buck University doing a very good job winning faceoffs and getting shots on net from those faceoffs. Suds! Suds, shots on net. Shots on net. 10 8 All Blacks. 10 8 All Blacks. So the All Blacks just barely out shooting Puck University there, but the score is in Puck University's favor overall heading into the second. That'll do it for this first period broadcast. Folks, we will join you again shortly. Or you will join me. Either or. Words are hard to apparently.